Today we're making garlic parmesan chicken skewers and the first thing you're gonna do is just pack a whole bunch of chicken on skewers and air fry it. So this chicken is seasoned with basically taco seasoning and olive oil. And then once you get that on your skewers, we're gonna throw it in the air fryer at 400. It cooks for about 12 minutes total, but we're gonna take it out halfway through and brush our garlic parmesan butter on it. So just going in the air fryer. And I'm going to set the timer so I don't forget. Because six minutes goes really fast when we are talking. All right, so first step for the garlic butter is melt a little bit of butter. So you didn't miss anything. I just like, I have had that chicken marinating in oil and seasonings for like two hours now. And uh, that's why you didn't see me do it. But I literally just bite-sized leftover chicken in my fridge. I had a breast and a thigh and uh, just put it with olive oil and, season and taco seasoning. So next thing you do once you melt your butter is you add some fresh parzo a and you can add a lot a little whatever i don't measure this stuff and after that we're going to add some red pepper flakes be careful if you don't like whatever is this like spicy hot it has some sort of kick to it oh yeah and there's only two more ingredients from here, just garlic. You can also squeeze lemon into here as well. So next up, we're gonna add some garlic. I'm not a huge fan of garlic. I think it's good as like a little bit, but I don't like things to be overpowering with garlic, so. This is what it looks like. It almost looks like a chimichurri sauce. Okay, now we can add our lemon. Oh, and we gotta grate some Parmesan in too. I made a reel for this earlier and I did not add a lemon and they still tasted amazing. I don't wanna get seeds in here, but whatever. We do have a lemon squeezer. Put that in the garbage disposal. All right, now we just need our Parmesan. I thought I took it out. I had Parmesan somewhere, I guess. I'll have to find it after this. All right, so this is just classic Parmesan. We usually get the block from Costco and it literally will last us like a year, but uh, we didn't have it this time. So I don't even know how to open this. It's like very hard. All right, now we're just gonna grate that Parmesan in. I can move the camera down a little so you can see the inside of it. There we go. That end is like too skinny to grate with. It will be easier to shred. I don't know, it's coming off now. It was just because it was like a really skinny end that I was trying to grate. All right. You can add more, you can add less. It's nice and thick. This smells so good. I want to eat it. 
but I can't eat it because I'm wearing Invisalign and it has stopped like 30% of my daily snacking so far. Okay. I didn't want to use two hands because I didn't want to, like I didn't want to grate it like this. Actually, I should have. I'm such an idiot. This is so much easier than whatever I was doing just now. Merry Christmas, Becky. That was crazy. Why was I grading it? Like, I don't know. My mind is all over the place. I am uh, missing Anna and Sophia so much. They're in Florida this weekend, and I pick them up tomorrow. So I have the... I actually, like, don't really enjoy my time with them away like I thought I would. I was like, oh, the house will be so peaceful and quiet, but I kind of just feel, like, depressed and, like, unmotivated whenever they're away. So, uh... It hasn't really been, like, this, like, exciting retreat of, like, no baby. I just, like, miss her. Yeah, Dee Dee, exactly. It's, like, too quiet, you know? I'll be in the kitchen, like, doing videos, and if I don't have music playing in the background or something on the TV, it just feels sad. All right, I have to remove somebody from the live... I don't know what kind of melons you're talking about. If you, like, are a, a farmer and you have, like, cantaloupe or something, but I'm going to remove you. Okay. But thank you for joining. All right, so now the chicken has been in there for six minutes. It's about halfway cooked. That looks good. And I do not soak my skewers in water. Oh, you know what I should do? How can I get this out without burning my hand? This sucks. I have to... I should have just used my oven style air fryer for this recipe. I just didn't want to get it dirty. but I have to take out this tray somehow. Or I don't. Actually, this will be an easy way. I can just do it on this and then I'll transfer it. Although thongs would have been a good way to do that. All right, so here's what you do now. You guys are gonna see how pretty it looks too. Your chicken always browns so nicely. I always burn mine. I wonder why mine doesn't burn. Because I did do 400. All right. And you can use a brush for this. This is what it looks like. But, uh, oh my God. You guys need like a, like just like a full on experience of seeing this. Hmm. Oh yeah. And now we're just putting them back in. For another, let's say seven minutes. Because there were some chicken thighs on there and I think they might take a little longer, so. And yeah, the only seasoning was taco seasoning. My stomach bricked up. Is that a compliment? First one needs more. So that's not all of the, the butter that we're gonna put on it. I'm gonna do another session of basting once they come out with the actual brush. Look, this is the mistake I ran into earlier. So 
This is like the, it's kind of my easy version of the viral recipe like this. If you look up Parmesan garlic chicken skewers, there's like a hundred viral recipes. And a lot of them, they, they do it in like a, a saute pan. Like they, they warm it all up in a pan. And I don't, I don't want to do that, but I don't want to dirty a pan. I'd rather just do a little cup that I can microwave. So I melt my butter in the cup and then I mix everything. And in the reel today, I didn't even have fresh parsley. I used uh, the like dried parsley. But uh, so the original way to do it is you cook it for six minutes, then you add it, then you take it out and you add it again. The issue I ran into earlier was I brushed it on at the very beginning and then I brushed it on halfway and then I did an, I wanted to do another version, like another uh, brushing at the end, but this brush had been touching the raw chicken twice. So unless you want to like wash your brush, that's why I used a spoon just now. Although, would the outside of the chicken be cooked after six minutes? I don't know. What kind and size of air fryer do you have? I have the Ninja Max XL. How's Sophia loving the Christmas tree? She's loving it. She's doing great, actually. We, uh, we were scared that she would mess with the ornaments and, like, knock it down, but we just told her no whenever she went near it, and after, like, two or three times, she didn't mess with it. Why taco seasoning and not organic seasoning since it's a keto recipe? So the amount of taco seasoning I used, I don't think adds that many carbs, maybe like three or four carbs per skewer. So if you want to make your own taco seasoning, you totally can. And then you could get it to like one carb per skewer. But uh, I, don't, I don't think three or four carbs is going to make a dent in my carb intake for the day. What can you eat when you get your gallbladder out? I am not sure. Uh, there are some like keto experts out there who have probably made content on this. Can you tell us how much weight you lost? I started keto in 2016 and I was 240 pounds. And then I lost 80 pounds in two years. So 2018, I got to 160. Then I started lifting weights and eating a little more, upping my protein, trying to put some muscle on. And now I just hang out around 175. Although there was a period when we were pregnant with Sophia and right after we had her where I ballooned up to 190 because I was just cheating too much and, uh, and put on some weight. What are you drinking? Uh, it's hard ketones. And I like that they have a product called snake water that I also like before I work out. This one is like the afternoon one that relaxes you. It's supposed to give you a buzz. I've never drinking enough to really notice if I have a buzz after drinking it, but it's alcohol free. It's just the ketones that are supposed to give you a buzz. So I don't know. I like it though. It definitely makes me feel more relaxed. And that makes sense because being in ketosis and ketones is really good for your mental health. It could like reduce anxiety. I don't know what actually is happening there though. I just, I, I actually like the taste of it too, but not everyone will like the taste of it. It's kind of strong. I know I've seen other people drinking this. I know Goody Beats drinks this a lot. Um, I have friends in Austin who also drink this. Is it carbonated? Uh, I mean, yeah, it tastes like a Moscow mule. Did you order online? Uh, I did not. They hooked me up with a case of this one and then the snake water, but that's where you would get it is online. And it's just hard ketones. You can like find their Instagram. That's their name. Someone said something about negative carbs. Is 50 carbs per day really okay? To me, it's a lot. 
Uh, I mean, look, anyone who cuts out the majority of the carbs they're eating, assuming you're on a standard American diet and you're eating a ton of junk food, I say this all the time, if you stop eating a lot of carbs and you do 50 carbs a day, 75 carbs a day, the options you have are limited and the junk food you're able to consume is extremely limited. That's why weight loss happens. If you were able to just eat unlimited carbs, but you were avoiding meat or you were going like vegan or something, that probably wouldn't produce a lot of weight loss because you could just eat sleeves of Oreos all day. But whenever you cut out carbs, that's like the one thing that's always in packaged junk food. So if you're limiting your carbs, you are by default limiting pre-packaged junk food and pre-packaged snacks are probably, if I had to, if I had all of my money and I had to make a bet on what is making people obese, I would say 80 to 90% of people who are obese are that way because of prepackaged snacks and like convenient foods. And a lot of that stuff is just not an option because it has too many carbs. So whether you're in ketosis or not, this looks so good. The fact that you're cutting out that stuff is just like going to make weight loss way easier. That's why I don't think it's like crazy to have to do 20 carbs a day. I think 50 would be fine. Guys, look at these. And we're gonna brush it on this side now. Let's put them, actually we can brush it here. All right, let's adjust the camera so you guys can see. Uh, I did not know about the Grammys tonight. We don't even have TV. I'm sure we have like some streaming service that offers it now, but we have to like sign up to like some script to some subscription to even watch the Super Bowl. We have like no TV. All right, now we're gonna whip out this brush. And I'm actually gonna save this little bit that's in here because I already ate a bunch today, so I'm probably just gonna save these for Anna. I might eat one or like half of one. Just look. Dang, guys, I might have to reshoot this I did the reel today, but I used dried parsley and it looked good. This is what it looked like. How do I bring in a picture? Why isn't it letting me? There's like an option to bring pictures in, I thought. It's just gone. How do I? I don't know, they changed the settings. I can't show you guys. This looks so much better than the ones I made earlier. So, I am not gonna eat this. I'm gonna take a video of this. But just know guys, that's how you make these skewers. So I'll put the recipe in the caption and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a video of this because this just looks way better than the other one. All right guys, there is no plus sign anymore. Usually there was, but all right guys, I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.